You did not misread that title. Yeah, I'm going there. We're going to be going over why a meritocracy is so important and why a, a arbitrary characteristic such as your genitalia, your skin color, any kind of disability whatsoever, or even your religion, nationality, or what the hell ever, should be no factor into determining how well, how well or what kind of school you end up going to, what kind of job you get into, if you get accepted to that job, and whatever. But before we get into that, we need to establish what is a meritocracy. Okay, this is what a okay. This is is what you're seeing here a um, Google definition of a meritocracy: a government or the holding of power by people selected on the basis of their ability. A plural noun, which this the which is the uh, meritocracies, a ruling or in influential class of educated or skilled people. Now if you go to Marion Ripster, a system in which the talented are chosen and moved ahead on the basis of their achievement, only the elite and a new merit meritocracy would enjoy the opportunity for self-fulfillment. Number two, a leadership selected on the basis of intellectual criteria. Many people, many private schools have sold their birthright by choosing "Quote unquote diversity over scholarly meritocracy." Now, since you got both the Google definition and you got the definition of meritocracy from a Marion Webster, this is something I don't get. Why people feel the need to just throw the idea of meritocracy under the bus? Like, does their ability matter to absolutely fucking nobody at all? This is just completely, completely fucking stupid. Just the idea that we need to have diversity, and I have to use air quotes here, because I don't find this to be a, um, an actual diversity, well, at least a proper diversity, which is diversity of thought, diversity of opinions, and so on and so forth. The diversity of someone's skin color. The diversity of someone's sexual orientation. The diversity of someone's genitals. The diversity of someone's mental fucking state. This is retarded. It undermines anyone's complete ability to, well, be productive in our society. This kind of diversity is detrimental to major corporations as it reduces profit because you don't have very many productive people at those lines of work for example and this is a very good example someone who wants to go in the military right if you're not physically fit enough okay if you're not if you don't have the right proper level of fitness why should you be a veteran like that doesn't make sense like for for someone who can't even do pull-ups, gets in gets gets into the military, it lowers the overall effectiveness of the military. I mean, seriously, if you can't pull, up, if you can't do a fucking pull-up, your shell hole aren't gonna be able to carry your gun around and be an effective fighter. That's the thing, and that's that's not the only example that I have for you. Like the same, okay. This next one is pretty, pretty much has a um, standard of fitness. Someone who wants to be a firefighter, again, if you can't pull, can't do a fucking pull up or a sit up or whatever, then why should you be considered to be um, a firefighter? I, mean, I doubt you'd be able to carry those holes around. You certainly won't be able to carry someone to safety. So, yeah, you, yeah, if you can't pull, bring someone to safety if you need to, again, shouldn't be a um, firefighter. It's that simple. And it, this applies to pretty much any and every occupation under the sun that you can think of. If you're not skilled in mechanics, 
you shouldn't be working on a car. If you didn't, if you don't have a medical degree, you shouldn't be a doctor. This is just stupid. Thus, here's a question right here from uh, Cora: Is meritoc is is meritocracy a okay? Is meritocracy good or bad? Samuel Walters writes. Good. In an meritocratic system, gender, race, se and sexuality are seen as trivial. The only thing that matters is who is the most qualified to do the job. Quotas encourage or require the hiring of less qualified people in the name of diversity, which hurts the employee who can't do their job, the employer who deals with them, and the better candidate who didn't get hired. I agree with this 100%. Without a meritocracy, we're focusing so much on arbitrary quotas or, hey, d did you hire a black man? No? Well, screw you. We're just going to protest. We're going to write articles on how you are fucking racist. Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, uh, you know, that woman over there, you know, you know she's trying to get your job. Like, are, are you going to give her, give her that job? Uh, uh, wait, no? You're, you're not gonna give her that job? Oh, well, okay. You're misogynistic. Like, yeah, she may be less qualified than you, but you are a misogynist. You didn't hire her over him. The more qualified of the employee candidate. But screw it. We don't want the meritocracy. No, 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 no. And who cares if it reduces the producti productivity of your corporation? Who cares if it reduces the quality of the food of, say, your restaurant? And we don't give a shit if he's very fucking clueless on fixing cars or motor or anything like that. No, you don't want you don't want vagina. Then you hate a lemon. It's ridiculous and retarded. If you're gonna get on board a job, you need to make sure you're the most qualified for that job. I, right. because otherwise, you're screwing over your employer who has to deal with the shit on a daily basis, and more than likely, the customer isn't gonna get the services. The went there for, say, if they're going to a, an auto parts store, or they're going to a restaurant, or something like that, they're more likely not going to get where, where, they, where they come for, and just, that's that. And the same rings true for um, disabilities. I can't say I'm surprised, but that doesn't mean there's no cause for concern. Like, are we really going to um, value someone's disability over someone's ability to work at a certain job? Are we really going that far? And I can't believe I'm having to say this. I'm okay, I've been wanting to avoid stating this. For the longest fucking time, because there's that stigma attached to someone with like autism, it's like, oh, okay, you're you're autistic and you're, oh my god, he's probably just another special snowflake and he's just he probably just wants everything just handed to him on a silver fucking platter, because like he just wants to use his ability as this kind of crutch just to get shit for free. Okay, I didn't want to be seen as someone who's playing that card. But I've been diagnosed with um, autism since I was a wee lad. True story. But the reason I never brought this up in any of my fucking rant videos or any of my less life or any kind of videos whatsoever is I didn't I didn't want to be tied with those people, especially the autistics who don't give a fuck about meritocracy. 
about someone's ability to get a job or work. Heck, I remember her say, oh, you have autism. That automatically means you cannot get this job. Or you can't get it in a legitimate way. You need special treatment. You need to go through these special services that cuddle you. And just give you, give you shit for free, holding you down. Like, who gives a fuck if you want to improve your skill set? No, you just need the shit for free. Or you need a special bargain that does every fucking thing for you. That attitude is detrimental to the acceptance of these kind of, kinds of people. It's a fucking entitlement complex. It fucking sickens me to the very core. I fucking hate that argument, especially for that reason. It spits in the face of meritocracy and it throws it completely under the fucking bus. I care about meritocracy because I think that productivity of a certain area that's the most important especially if you want your business to flourish so yeah let's say I open a restaurant I don't give a fuck if you have autism or not. I don't give a fuck if you have a vagina. I don't give a fuck if you're gay. If you don't meet the criteria of a server, a chef, or any other position that may be open, if you don't fit that criteria, I'm not going to have you on board. Of course, eventually I would like to open a restaurant because, you know, give to the community after all. As much as I hate the community. I am on the, I'm on the um, sound mind of, okay, so society has given so much to you, it's time to give back. Or say, someone wants to be a firefighter, I hope you would do it to save lives. Or, you want to be a mechanic because you want to service other people's cars, and make sure they're running properly. If you have that mindset, I, that's for you. You had my heavy respect because you go into those professions and you know everything it takes and you have all those qualifications to be a mechanic. I have heavy respect for you, big time. But if you were let in because of a quota, I'm sorry, but um, I'm going to avoid that branch like the plague. Because what the fuck can you do for my for my car? Seriously, like say I have a craft somewhere and I need a service. Yeah, right, right. Of course, I don't have my license yet, but I'm saying hypothetical. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I hope you get the point of why meritocracy. I'm sorry that um. If I have if I have made my point very clear, it, it's midnight as of recording this, so I my mind is not properly functioning right now. But I sincerely hope you get the point, and I'm gonna leave you on this. Everything will be in the lower bar, so you can read it for yourself, so you can, yeah. Anyway, see you guys back here for whatever. Whereas, the real meritocracy is to say, I see some ability in a person which is nascent. If I were to make investment in helping this ability expand for that person, mm. I see a greater motivation coming from this person, so that person will feel driven mm. to contribute more to the society, because the selfish interest for the person is ability expansion. Yeah. Yes, rewards matter, but reward is only one leg of meritocracy. But the core leg of meritocracy is ability and ability expansion. Yeah. The other part which I also want to make it. Meritocracy doesn't exist without nurturance. 
right you have to nurture meritocracy yeah you cannot extract meritocracy yeah you cannot extract the output out of people to say i will say i will get you out of the job or i will take you out of that institution if you don't if you don't if you don't yeah. is not the way to do meritocracy meritocracy is to say that i believe you have a potential to be better than what you are today hmm. and with your potential becoming actually performance not only you benefit the institution benefits so the mentoring is interlinked very strong 100% yeah 